Hello everybody. I welcome you all to my new presentation on mole concept calculations. Mole concept calculations are in 11th class syllabus. It is a basic concept of mole, which we all know that it is measure of amount of substance. In chemistry, we often use the term mole for measurement of amount of substance, just like it doesn't represent 12 of something like bananas, apples, notebooks. A mole also represents this number 6.02 10 is to power 23. Yeah, you know, this is also called Avogadro's number. So a mole means this much apples, this much notebooks, this number of any substance which can be, which can be uh, counted. Okay. In chemistry, it is normally used to represent atoms, ions, molecules, or formula units. And collectively, atoms, molecules, ions, formula units are called particles. Okay. So we are going to calculate these things because chemists deal with such large amount of particles, it is easier to work with moles. For example, if I put a pinch of salt on your palm, that pinch of salt would contain huge number of ions. Formula of salt is common salt is sodium chloride. So there are huge number of sodium cations and chloride anions. How much huge? Lakhs and crores and thousands of crores. And such a huge number is described in terms of moles. Okay. And amounts of particles can be expressed not only as mole, but as mass, as volume, and as particles, you know. That is why you have learned that there are three concepts of mole. That is mass concept, particle concept, and uh, volume concept. This all you have learned already very well. But how to do their calculation? For example, a measurement of sample of molecules of water, H2O, can be converted from mass to moles to particles to volume and similarly again back. Back means from volume to mass, from particle to mass and from moles to mass. For example, I have a drop of water. The mass of that drop of water is suppose 0.5 milligram, just assume. And uh, if we have to calculate that how much molecules of water it contain or how much volume will it occupy at normal temperature and pressure, then that can be done only by using mole calculations, mole conversions. Okay, by using the right conversion factors. So all these numericals, which are based on this small concept, can be solved by using right conversion factors. And what these factors are, let us learn. See here, this is moles, three concepts, mass concept, volume concept, particle concept. We can convert mole into mass, mole into volume, mole into particle. You can see in this diagram, if you want to go from mole to mass, the root is this, multiply that mole, num, that moles with molar mass upon one mole. And if you have to convert mass into mole, then multiply mass by one mole upon molar mass of that particular 
substance, whether it is element or compound. Okay. Similarly, these, these conversions also, now you can get it. Okay. Now let us see. For example, I have to convert mass into moles. What is the root? I will multiply by one mole upon molar mass. Let us take an example. Example is that I have 35 gram aluminum. A numerical is there that how many moles are there in 35 gram aluminum? Or you can say, find number of moles in 35 gram aluminum. What to do? We have 35 gram. 35 gram is mass. And we want to convert it into mole. What we shall do? Multiply by one mole upon molar mass of that substance. The substance here is aluminum. So see how we will multiply this 35 gram of aluminum with one mole upon its molar mass mass of one mole of aluminum is its atomic mass that is 27 gram which is called molar mass you know so 35 gram aluminum multiply one mole 27 gram 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 will be cancelled out mole will remain and answer will be by working out upon 35 upon 27 you will get 1.3 moles aluminum. So simple it is. Okay. And uh, if, we, if you want to go back, for example, now we have 0.8 moles of silicon oxide and we want to get its mass. Let a numerical is there that what is the mass of 0.8 moles silicon dioxide. Silicon dioxide is sand. Okay, SiO2, silicon dioxide. So we have to find mass of 0.8 mole silicon oxide. What we shall do? We shall multiply by molar mass of SiO2 upon one mole. See here, you can calculate simply by multiplying like this. 0.8 moles of silicon oxide multiply 60.1 gram silicon oxide upon one mole silicon oxide. 60.1 is uh, molar mass of SiO2. Okay, now moles, moles are cancelled out. You see here, moles of SiO2, moles of SiO2. What remains is gram, 60.1 into 0.8. The answer will be 48.1 gram of silicon oxide. Now, in a similar manner, you can convert other two things also. Means mole into volume and mole into number of particles by using this chart, by using this diagram. Okay. And uh, let us take another example. 200 gram N2O. We have N2O. N2O is nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide is also called laughing gas. You know, so we have 200 gram of N2O and we want to find number of moles in it. Okay, we have 200 gram N2O and we want to get molecules of N2O in it. The statement of numerical will become that how many molecules are there in 200 gram and two? What you can say, calculate the number of molecules in 200 gram and two. Means you are having mass, you want to find molecules, means particles. You are here, you want to go here. The root is first come from mass to moles, then go from moles to particles. This highlighted path you will have to follow. Okay. Now see, 
200 gram of N2O. First, we are coming here by multiplying it with one mole N2O upon molar mass of N2O, 44 gram of N2O. Then from here, we are coming down at this point by multiplying with Avogadro's number of particles, hair molecules upon one mole. So gram gram N2O cancelled out, mole N2O, mole N2O cancelled out. What remains is Avogadro's number into 200. Okay, by solving it, by working out on it, you will get 2.74 into 10 to the power 24 molecules of N2. In a similar way, you can convert mass into volume, mass into particle, particle into volume, volume into mass. Anyway, you this is the roadmap for you. You can follow it to solve any numerical, but you have to do, you have to just recognize that where we are standing and where we have to go, the route is before you. Now pick your books and a notebook along with pen. And uh, there are so many unsolved exercises, practice problems in all kinds of textbooks, NCRT book also. You try to just solve those numericals by using this technique. I am sure you will find it better method for solving. Goodbye. Thank you. Happy learning.